From Fox 13, the most powerful name in local news, this is the Fox 13 6 o'clock news. And good evening on this Labor Day. I'm John Wilson. And I'm Kelly Ring. Thanks for joining us, everybody. And first on Fox tonight, the drastic steps a homeowners association is taking tonight. An owner is behind on her association fees, so the board passed an amendment cutting off her water. But the question we have tonight is, is it legal? As Fox 13's Tanya Arja shows us, many lawyers say the board is abusing its power. Gallons of water sit on Sarah's kitchen counter. She keeps her bathtub full. For the past three weeks, she's had no running water. We got the notice on August 10th that, you know, no sooner than the 17th, your water will be shut off. Not only was it shut off, the pipe was cut, leaving a hole in her wall. Sarah lives in the Riverwalk townhomes. She fell behind on her monthly association dues over a year ago. She lost part of her income, and her son, who's disabled, needed more medical attention. And then it just snowballed. And when you try to catch up with one thing, you fall behind on something else. Sarah asked us not to show her face because she's embarrassed, hasn't told her work or her family that she doesn't have water. It's stressful. It's humiliating. Overwhelming because you do not explain it to your child. The townhouses all share one water meter. Each owner pays a monthly fee, $275 to the association, to pay for water, cable, maintenance, and upkeep on common areas. The association recently passed this amendment, which said they have the right to go on someone's property and cut their water or cable if they don't pay their dues. There's a deliberate action by the homeowners association that's not only illegal, um, but you know they're trespassing on her property. Um, they're taking rights away from her that are under the Constitution, and they're also violating Florida laws. Nikki Fernandez says she's never heard anything like oh, this. She's representing Sarah. Lawyers we spoke to say homeowners associations can cut off amenities like access to a community pool or other common areas, but they can't cut off your water. That would be the same as changing the locks on your front door. I think the ultimate question for the courts would be whether water is a necessity or an amenity. And if you don't have water, you, you can't use the restroom, you can't take showers. It's, I don't know how you can live in a home without water. David Wachowiak, who has no ties to this case, believes the association overstepped their bounds. 